A couple times a year, we have patients come in who've had pain and injuries in their mid-back multiple times through the years. Start treatment, try the roller table, and they really don't like it. It just doesn't quite feel right. And this is different. Usually this is their favorite stop of the day is on that roller table, getting that nice slow rock in the mid-back. However, today they don't like it at all. That's kind of one of those red flags for us that maybe we have something else going on in here because this is sometimes how we've found out or seen some thoracic vertebral body fractures where it's getting crushed down. This is the pain. It doesn't like the roller table rock. So somebody who's loved it in the past and now kind of hates it. Even their history of how they think they hurt it doesn't quite add up to a fracture, but we get this symptom of, I don't like the roller table. This is the first time ever. In this zone, a couple of other tests are still inconclusive. We've taken x-rays and sometimes they've been negative for fractures, but MRIs or CTs have showed them. And it's just one of those things we need to be aware of, of just because you've done something a bunch of times and this is what the treatment has been, this has been the outcome, doesn't mean the next one's gonna be the same thing. Sometimes we can get some weird stuff pop up or we get these vertebral body fractures that we don't think you earned necessarily, they just kind of happened between age and activity, but we need to always take that step back of, oh, it's not acting like it should. What else could be going on? And that's what happens every day in the office, and we need to always make sure that just because we did this last time and it worked doesn't mean this is the same thing next time.